For the next couple weeks, something can be seen in the night sky that won't be seen again for thousands of years. And it's got space enthusiasts and photographers losing sleep just to catch a glimpse. It showed up around 1030 and we were out until we got home at four. Vancouver's Aaron Von Hagen is one of many photographers looking upwards into the late hours of the evening, all in the hopes of capturing the perfect shot of a recently discovered comet called Neowise. So I just got back from shooting the comet. Like I'm, I'm, I'm pulsating. That's how like high on life I am. It's not really knowing where it's going to show up in the sky, but knowing it's going to show up and you see a little bit of light in the, on the horizon, you think, oh, is that it? And it's not, it's a little plane or it's just a little star. And then all of a sudden it got a little bit darker, a little bit darker. And you could just, this tail just appeared out of nowhere. The comet is a visitor to our solar system and NASA says it won't be back for another 6,800 years. Neowise made a once in our lifetimes close approach to the sun on July 3rd and is now crossing outside Earth's orbit on its way back to the outer parts of the solar system. It will be visible well to the end of this month, uh, but it is dimming in brightness. So you'll want to go out as soon as possible and the best time to go is just after dusk, an hour after sunset, so that's around that 10 to 11 range looking north northwest. The comet is attracting a lot of attention in part due to the fact that you can see it clearly with the naked eye. Von Hagen suggests it's a rare opportunity to try and catch an awe-worthy photo and you may even be able to do it on your iPhone. You could definitely do it and I think it'd be easier to capture it at the sunset because you know the iPhones or camera phones aren't that great with uh, low light but at sun at sunset you still have a bit of that light to help boost up the uh, the things. Over the last few days, Von Hagen has spent about 20 hours capturing the comet. And he's not alone, saying everywhere he goes, he sees someone else staying up most of the night to get the perfect shot. You always question yourself and say, oh, am I going to, is it worth it? Do I really need to go out and shoot this? And then every time you go out and you do it, you stay up late and you come home, you're like, it was totally worth it. Um, I'll sleep. Well, there's plenty of time to sleep, and now it's not one of them. Neowise will make its closest approach to Earth on July 22nd at a distance of 103 million kilometers, although it may have already faded by then. Ashley Burr, City News.